Hi yeah. everybody, Rosie and Jen. Jen and Rosie here, a little update. You know, last week we did a video here for the O'Kelly channel. Missy Jen almost gets porked at the uh, Ford dealer there. And, uh, you know, we were looking down the barrel. We paid like a hundred some dollars so she could get it uh, checked out over there. We were looking down the barrel at, what, 800? 850. So all in, we're almost like a thousand dollars to yeah. uh, fix that. So, you know what I told them that day, we're not, uh, we're not doing that. Of course, Jen was upset, but we got home and she got to feeling better because uh, we knew that there was a service bulletin on it from Ford. And our local Ford dealership is not worth a shit when it comes to uh, being honest and everything. So Jen did some research, and what did you find out? I found out that... Remember, this, this <clears throat> heater, the heater blower motor, would only go to high. It could not go to low and medium. It would not go there. And what did you find yes, out when you did the research? I got the four settings, and it would only run on the highest speed. And the radiator fan would kick in and it would run all the time. And uh, yeah. I actually found out that uh, it is a uh, one piece. It's not uncommon. It's a, a very, very common problem with Ford in general, especially the Ford Escapes, <clears throat> ranging from 2008 all the way up to now the 2012-13. Um, I actually made a video on the collab channel and I had a nice gentleman actually say, uh, uh, post a comment saying that there is a, a piece that costs $22 that needs replaced to go on YouTube and just do some research. So I watched a few videos, did some research on YouTube, watched some videos and I went on to the uh, message boards and stuff, come to find out that the only problem that there is is the blower resistor will be defect. Yeah, I'll show this to you. I'll bring this in to give you guys a closer view and I hope you can see that. All this is is actually a uh, resistor here so that uh, if you put it on uh, low power, the blower, like the lowest setting, What's going to happen is it's going, this resistor is going to shunt a lot of the power so that the motor runs slower, the blower motor, and on up. But uh, if you look at the Ford dealer tried to say that it was uh, water intrusion related, but you can see, maybe you can, the board is perfectly sealed here, but you can see some bubbling underneath the surface over there. Well, that's got nothing to do with uh, water intrusion. That's got to do with the defective circuit board in there so that's the bottom line so tell them uh, so tell them what uh, you decided to do now talking about moisture really quickly this thing was covered in dust there was no moisture I mean, ever it got was down drier there. than a desert inside of that system so that so anyway i decided i'm gonna go to uh, an auto parts store and buy this a new one for 25 dollars including the tax and uh, just put it in and see what happens. So uh, I, I had some problems. I, I, I found out the location. Basically, you go into the... Uh, well, we don't have to get too technical, but you yeah. can do it yourself. I mean, Jen, you know, she has MS, so it's a little difficult for her to, to struggle down underneath the glove box and get yeah. up in there and do it. She, but she had it halfway done when I got home. And I helped her do the rest of it, but you know, for eight hundred, nine hundred dollars, over nine hundred dollars, all in for the dealership, you know, for twenty-five dollars and uh, a half hour work, yeah. you know, the problem is solved. The car is running as beautiful as ever. Right, and you can just pop the glove compartment out, and underneath there's the blower motor right there, and the wire harness. It's got a little wiring connector that goes right. in the top of it. It's as easy as can be. It's a little difficult. But the Ford guy, when he went to check it, didn't even bother putting the screw back in on right. one side to hold it. That's what kind of dick he was. So you want to talk about the dishonesty of service departments, of car dealerships, right? You can look up the Ford dealership here in Santa Rosa. I'm not going to mention their, their name, but you can figure out who it is. Uh, and 
you know, they were totally dishonest with Jen and tried to cheat her on about a $50 job to, to screw her out of 900 bucks. Well, you know what I say to that? Mm, Fangola, baby. That's what I say to that. Yes. So, you know, we uh, we came in out of that smelling like a rose because we were going to take it to Francisco and say, you know, do it. Right. We didn't even need to do that. I mean, I was excited this morning when I did the research. I thought, that is that's easy, you know, you deal. just pop that harness off, there's two bolts come out, you slide, uh, slide that out, Put slide the new, the new one in, in tighten, her down. tighten the two bolts in, plug it in, let it rip. So she was happy, she turned that blower <laughs> motor on and it worked. Yeah, and it so works like a charm. Let that be a heads up to you. A lot of times you can save a lot of money on car dealership repairs if you know anything about it. If you have that problem, the chances are there's 10, 20, 100 people on YouTube and that problem is so common with these resistors being defective that uh, Ford issued a technical service bulletin on it to uh, cover it. And I'm sure if Jen peeled back the uh, covering on that circuit board there, the waterproofing, she would see that it's all corroded inside, thereby, thereby shorted everything out except the high power uh, blower one. So, yeah, you know, it always pays to do the research, and that's something right. that Jen does very well. So I'm always there to back her up because the uh, smart thing I did was say, no, we're not going to be held hostage by these sons of bitches. Right. Here. So it all turned out good. So yep. um, mm -hmm. she's smiling today. Look at her and smiling. In collaboration, Ooh. we've got her done. Yeah, and you can check out uh, Jen and Rosie Reality TV if you want to see the fix. That, right, because uh, I did a more detailed showing you how to pop the glove compartment in the exact location. Yeah, so it all, it's all good. So, all right, everybody, thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, just be beware and be careful. I mean, it's a rip-off world out there. And if, uh, you know, it's nice. a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and we're wearing milk bone underwear, so you got to be careful. Mm. Take care of number one, or you'll be stepping in number two. All right, thanks That's for watching, nice. guys.